Hello team, welcome to another episode of Pristine Paper. Hope you're having a great week so far. Uh, this is going to be a special throwback Thursday of the show. We're going to open up a box of Top Stadium Club 1992 Series 3 Baseball. Um, I might just open half of it because it might take me a little bit of time to do it. Uh, look at that. Price of, maybe that's per pack, two fifty. Now I haven't opened this up. Um, in many, many moons. I'm a little worried that the packs might be bricked. We'll have to see how these cards come out of here. Um, from the feel of them, they feel kind of hard. That's not a great feeling. So we'll see what we can do. We'll just open half of them because it might take a little bit of time. Um, <clears throat> I went with Series 3 because they have the um, special cards in a lot of these, the Griffey Jr. Um, card that is in that set and in that particular order is a great looking card um, that I would like to have in my collection that I don't think I have already. However, if these are going to be bricked, ah, that's not too bad. That might not be the most fun thing to see, but it is what it is with older cards, especially from this type. And eventually we'll get them all faced in the right direction. Thanks for tuning in today. Hope you are having a great day. Like I said, if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, and, uh, you know, we're just going to try to pull them apart as we can. All right. Witherspoon there. Um, it is a set that, you know, one of the second years, I believe, of Stadium Club. There is a number one draft pick of Taylor. There's Greg Olson there. All right. And again, if you haven't already, hit that uh, like button, subscribe to the channel, and... Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see more of in the future. All right. There's a Ken Hill. There's a Randy Johnson, Hall of Famer. Nice. Put the Hall of Famers off in their own separate pile there. Nice. You get some nice action cards out of these. That's an interesting one. Got his hands up, trying to protect those fingers. We're just going to kind of go through these as best we can. All right. There we go. Sweet. There it is. That was the card we were looking for. The member's choice, Griffey Jr. Hopefully we can get this detached. Yep, wasn't stuck at all. All right, that's what that looks like on the back. That was the card I was hoping to see. And look at that, first pack magic right out of the gate. All right, so I can definitely say that it was worth buying this box. It was like 20 bucks at my LCS. Just something I wanted to uh, look into. Um, if you're not familiar with... Um, Stadium Club. They have really nice pictures. They were known for, in this particular pack, the Kodak that they were using that was a little different. No borders on the cards and had cool little stat lines on some of the cards. Like you can see where they were good at hitting. Like, hey, there's their sweet spot. Here's where they hit for average, whatnot. So just a cool little, uh, cool little back insert there. Well, uh, look at that. Some anticlimactic uh, enjoyments out of the first pack. We didn't have to wait for that. Definitely uh, something that just kind of came. Let's see. Uh, you know, maybe there's multiples of that in there. I know there's some other really sweet cards. I know there's a Bo Jackson and Nolan Ryan that would be sweet to get. I don't know, there's some damage on that card right there. Who we got there? Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. We've got... Roger McDowell, throw him in the good pile there. Mike Gallego, some blast from the past on this for sure. Some tops club membership suite. Maybe we can still join that. Um, Kevin Ward kind of looks like uh, Derek Jeter a little bit in that one. It's a little bit difficult when they are sticking together. Again, good thing we are. There's Kyle Abbott, brother of Jim Abbott. Very cool. Chris Jones. I don't remember him on my Strohs, but there's a nice Sammy Sosa. We'll put him in the good card pile. He's not a Hall of Famer, of course, but definitely a guy that you want to kind of keep an eye on. Nice checklist there. And who do we got there? Mike Walken. All right. Who else do we have? Looks like a Steve Wilson getting back to throw. So... 
<clears throat> the set has always been known for the great pictures, like I said, and this set is no exception. One of my favorite Griffey cards is actually the one, I think it's from the set before this, the um, 91, I think, where it has the bats on the uh, dugout next to him. That's a pretty sweet card. Oh, that's the other cool thing about this. Look, see, I'll put the um, rookie card on the back of a lot of these. Sweet. And there we go. Got our Nolan Ryan member's choice. There we go. Sweet looking card there of Nolan Ryan. If you know anything about me, I like my Nolan Ryans. I like my Griffey Juniors and I like my Astros. So um, that's kind of a little bit about my collection habits from the past. Um, I did get rid of a lot of my Ryans back in the day because my brother collected them. So I would trade Griffey's for Ryans. There's Tartable, not a bad player. And Pete Incavilia, I remember him. Um, yeah, so you know how it is. Back in the day, you all collect somebody. Uh, one of my buddies collected uh, Mark McGuire, so he always got my McGuires. Um, and Keith, shout out to you, sir, if you get a chance to watch this. Um, now, I would collect Griffey Jr., Goose Gossage, nice Hall of Famer there, um, Kirby Puckett, some Ryan Sandberg. I did collect some Mark Grace um, back in the day. And looking young there, yeah, Mike Peters. Looks like someone just told Brian Hicks Hickerson a joke there. Kind of laughing a little bit. I'm not sure what that's about. Like, hey, you're not smiling. Let's see if we can fix that. There's a nice Gary Sheffield. Who's he playing for on this one? Is this the Yankees? Almost looks like the Yankees. I know he's on the Brewers. Nope, that was a Padres. Okay. When he moved over to the Padres. Not a Hall of Famer. Good player, though. Um, you know what? We'll put him in the good player pile. Why not? Sutcliffe. Good player. And Mark Present. All right. You know what? The way this video is going, we're only going to make it through one little stack. But the cool thing is we already got our... Griffey Jr. member's choice card. So we don't have to have any delayed gratification in that. So that was pretty cool. Some of these are a little more stuck. The plastic is a little stuck on the, uh, kind of give it a little bend there. All right, let's see who we can find here. I think I saw Jack Armstrong. Okay, I thought I saw Jack McDowell. It was not. But it's really cool how you see there rookie cards on the back um definitely a fan of tops um stadium club for sure and i think this was the second year like i said i think 91 was the first year of this product and went into 92 for the second year uh the member's choice i believe that's kind of like the highlight of these let's see who we got Member's Choice, George Brett, Hall of Famer. Nice. That'd be a sweet set to collect the whole set of. Uh, I know there's some in Series 2 of this year as well. So there are a few cards that are in that Member's Choice that are in um, the Series 2. Looks like they're not one per pack, but we've got one in almost every pack so far. So that's kind of cool. Good, good ratio, if you will. Not sure how much damage is getting done to these cards. Hopefully not much. I know actually that Griffey Jr. graded in a 10 is worth some serious dollars. That would not be good if that happened. You can see a little paper loss on that shirt right there and on the corners all around that one. So um, again, thanks for checking this out today. Hope you're enjoying some of the contents. Um, I do wanna, I wanna get to where I have enough hanger boxes to do almost equivalent of a whole case. I've been finding them out in the wild and stacking them off to the side. Um, hopefully I will have enough. I won't do the whole case break at once. I'll kind of split it up. Some damage to that card right there on the Ruskin. There's a nice Wizard of Oz. Very cool. Followed by T. Gwynn. That's a sweet picture. It's not a Tony Gwynn on the back though, unfortunately. Okay, it came, came off pretty cool. Nice sunglasses there. Tony Gwynn, one of the best pure hitters of all time. Frank DePino, remember him as a pitcher. 
definitely a guy I remember playing against as an Astro. Well, when the Astros were there, I should say, or that when they were playing each other. There's a Russell. Nice hair there, George Bell. Not a Hall of Famer, I don't believe, but a pretty good player throughout that time period, the 80s and 90s. There we go, there's the Bonds. Got that little earring on, still a little skinnier, still with the Pirates. Um, got a Steve Searcy. All right. Looks like an empty stadium, so must have been warm-ups or maybe even a spring training game. Not real sure. Um, <clears throat> who else can we find in this? I know we can find an, um, another couple big names on the... Um, members choice cards. I think there's Bonds, there's Clemens, there's all the big names in this were in that series. So, I mean that those would be a that'd be a really cool series to collect. Honestly, in my opinion, um, man, these are definitely not the easiest things to open up. Uh, Ricky Henderson, of course, would have been a big one in this time. Just saw Ricky Williams kind of reminded me of that. All right. Don Robinson. Bo Jackson, of course. Steve Sachs would be sweet. Need to find us a Bo Jackson. I don't remember which one he was in. There may have been... Bo Jackson may have been in the Series 2, if I'm not mistaken, which would mean we won't be able to find him in this one, if I'm not mistaken. That was kind of why I was torn. Should I buy a box of series two as well while I'm at it. They were only 20 bucks. So I felt it was worth the, um, you know, purchase. So I might go back and they've got a boatload of these. So I might go back and get some to open up some really cool pictures from back in the day. These are more of your stock image though. Usually, you know, I like the dramatic sports images that we've come accustomed to from uh, the stadium club, and these are not it, you know, we're just getting a bunch of lame, kind of <clears throat> glamour shots from the 80s, you know, not, uh, not exactly what I'm looking for, I want those action shots, you know, love that Griffey, but they, they don't all just, they're not all just action shots, so they just had unique shots, you know, what we would look at and see short prints today, um, were more along the lines of, you know, like this one. It's a little different, right? Denny Martinez. Denny Martinez, I should say. I apologize, Mr. Denny. Looks like Sandy Alomar. Never quite lived up to the potential and the hype. Damon Berryhill. There's a name from the past. Haven't heard that one for quite a while. Give those little bendy bends. Haven't seen it in a Another member's choice in a few packs. Maybe uh, they're not as common as I thought. There we go. Bo Jackson, baby. Love some Bo Jackson. Bo knows. Everyone knows that Bo knows. He's definitely have a PC of Bo Jackson going on. A lot of the um, 91 score with the shoulder pads and the baseball bat on his shoulder pads. You know the one. Everyone had that poster on their wall and crave that card desperately. There's nice Saber Hagen. was a great picture back then. Greg Swindell. Remember that name. All right. Keep going. We got just a couple more packs. So, uh, see if we can find any more members, uh, members club there and see if we can't pull some fun out of those. See, you know, a lot of these aren't the, Ones we like out of Stadium Club. I don't know. Maybe maybe it took a little longer for it to catch on. Because even that Bo Jackson's more of a blah, blah card, you know. Not quite a, um exciting action shot or funny shot or something, you know, unique to it. Uh, you know, I, I know they can't all be unique. But, you know, the premise of Stadium Club was the great photos. And if all your photos are still shots and guys with bats on their shoulders. That's not quite that exciting. Rex. All right. Cal Ripken Jr. Of course, will have a 
members only. There we go. Kind of sticking together a little bit there, so not sure what we're missing. Um, all right, there you go. I think there was one, if I'm not mistaken, I remember a Will Clark with the tuxedo. That was a pretty sweet card. There we go. Chuck Knobloch, my boy. He's an Aggie. Um, my daughter goes to Texas A&M. Definitely a huge fan of A&M since I was a kid. Um, man, Knobloch just got the yips. I don't know if y'all know much about him. He was one of the. He was a great player, rookie of the year, um, and just had a great career. And just all of a sudden, couldn't throw to second base. It was just crazy. Just his head never couldn't get out of his own head and ended up, uh, you know, retiring after a few years of struggles. He played on the uh, Yankees, of course, for a little while. I think he went to some other places there. Morris there. Some of these are the higher number two. Whenever you look at the Series 3, they're like from, I think that's a 900 card set uh, for Stadium Club altogether back then. Sorry, guys, this one's just... We got a Todd Worrell and a Dave Waynehouse. That's how it's going down. Couldn't get those unstuck. Hopefully, we won't have another member's choice that's stuck like that. That would be sad. Make, make us cry there, but... Um, it is definitely... Uh, where are we going with that? I apologize. Lost my train of thought trying to unstick these cards, but, um, you know... It is definitely nice to see some of these old, that's cool cards, see? That's what I'm talking about. You know, one of those cards where he's just holding the ball, kind of uh, dark background, really cool, really cool picture. Greg Olson, pretty good catcher back in the day. We got Ken Hill and Rodriguez. All right, we're almost done here. Thanks for bearing with me. Look at that, we got a double on the Randy Johnson, so maybe we can pull some doubles out of. There's, oh yeah, same action shot. All right, so maybe is this the one that had the member's choice, Griffey Jr. in it? If so, we need to be a little more careful. I can't recall. We'll look. Hopefully he is not damaged, if so. All right, keep going, keep going. We've got... Some guys that I don't remember, and I remember all the guys back then, I felt. Ray Jones. All right, that's what we got for you today, folks. Thanks for checking out our channel, and I appreciate your time. Um, thanks for giving us a look. We have already pulled one of the great members' choice that we were looking for. We pulled a Bo Jackson today, nice George Brett, Nolan Ryan, and a Chuck Knobloch, and a... Laughing hysterically, Brian Hickerson. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I uh, hope you have a great week uh, weekend coming up. And enjoy this Throwback Thursday. We'll uh, continue through this box throughout other Throwback Thursdays, um, as it took quite a while to get it open. But I appreciate you checking it out, and hope you have a great day. Bye.